Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Magic the Gathering. Uh, Magic the Gathering is a game. It's always just been a game. I know people want to make it out to be a profession. People want to, uh, you know, say that it's more than a game and they can, you can make money from it. But for the majority of players, it's just a game. You go to FNM, FNM is tonight. I will probably go to a new FNM. I don't like the current one I'm at. And so I'm going to check out a new one that's in town. So I need to drive. First of all, I probably have GPS it, but I need to drive to it. And it is just a game. Like when you lose, it's a game. When you win, it's a game. When you trade, it's a game. So when people take it very seriously, it takes away from the game. It's a very sad situation. I feel like when people put a lot of feelings and emotions into Magic the Gathering like too much, it's okay to love the game, but it's definitely not okay to want to cheat and win the game or steal cards or trade shark or any of these behaviors, uh, which I associate with Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh and card games in particular, are not um, something that I have found in other hobbies, which like uh, sports collectible. Uh, you have a hobby break and someone breaks a box, everyone puts in the equal amount of money. And when someone gets a good card, everyone in the chat room explodes and they're happy for that good card. We pulled a Steph Curry uh, logo tag uh, last week and everyone was so happy for the dude because the dude never pulls anything good. He always, he's like the, the Debbie Downer of the group, but we all felt really good for him. And there's this excitement, but if this happened magic, people would just be jealous, right? Like, oh, you pulled up mass on uh, that invention. You suck, blah, blah, blah. I wish I was lucky as you. And, or, hey, you won the game because not because you're talented or skilled, but because you luck sacked. And when I used to play Card Fight Vanguard, luck has a lot to do with that game, like way more than Magic Gathering. But when people lost by luck, they would just say, oh, cool, nice. You got lucky, but you know, congrats. And people always shake hands, you know, always happy, always smiling. Uh, it's a different type of uh, player. It's much younger, and that's one, one of the reasons I quit, because I'm old, and I didn't want to be playing a game where the audience is so young. But even in Magic the Gathering, I think there's this um, perception that players are just not nice to each other especially when there's a prize to be won. Uh, Pre-release, in my opinion, a super casual event, a super fun event, something that's meant to really promote the game in a positive way. Every pre-release, there's a bunch of cheaters who run around and they win. The, I mean, it's just so impossible. You can get to the top eight, but gosh, like, you cannot get out of the top eight. Like, you just cannot get out of the top eight because everyone is in the same group and they give cards to each other. And I'm like, is it really worth your time to stay here for 10, 12 hours to cheat and to win a few packs? I mean, it cannot be a great expected value if you're not having fun. But not only are they not having fun, they're making sure everyone else is not having fun. Magic the Gathering is a game. Win or lose or draw or trade or whatever you want to do in the game, finance or speculate, it is at the end of the game, a game. A game that children can play, a game adults can play, a game that has cards that are as valuable as $10,000 a card, and a game that has standard cards as valuable as $25 a card, but a game nonetheless. And when people treat it as something like more, like as if their life depended on winning this one game, and they're salty because they lost the game, I just think it's very, very poor. From my perspective, it if you're at F and M, if you're a game day, game day is soon. What are you doing? Like, you know, you're there to have fun. You're there to have a good time. You're not there to argue. You're not there to cheat. You're not there to steal. You're not there to trade shark. You're there to have a good time because none of the other things I've listed have a positive expected value over working at McDonald's. If you wanted to be a crappy person and you make more money than you can at cheating at Magic at pre-release, then work at McDonald's. Because you will make more money in those 12 hours, in a 12 hour shift, than you will winning that one box of Calidas. Very, very sad. Anyway, bye guys.